Hey Richie and welcome to this video and first of all thank you to my subscribers for being patient while I took a few weeks off there and I do appreciate it and I'm back now and I'm going to show you a strategy whereby we can start to collate all of the previous videos that I've showed you about how to find unlimited design ideas and then how to put them onto a spreadsheet. Now next we want to take those design ideas, put them into a format whereby it is actual design phrases. So I'm only using text t-shirt designs for this strategy just because I know that I can do this as quickly as possible and scale it fast using just text designs. So I'm going to take what I've found on those spreadsheets, put them into a separate spreadsheet and then upload it in bulk onto two different softwares okay so the first one is canva and the second one is photopea canva you need a pro license but photopea you can do it for free okay and i'm going to show you both strategies so that we can start to create lots and lots and lots of etsy designs in one bulk go from scratch just very quickly okay so without further ado let's dive in i'm going to show you the process step by step including my previous videos that lead up to this point okay guys so like i said before thank you to everyone who has subscribed just recently i know it's been a while since i've done a video and i was just taking a quick break there just because motivation was at an all-time low i don't know why I, I just got into a bit of a low spot <laughs> which sometimes happens with me and i, I just I can't focus mentally or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for being patient is all I'm saying. <laughs> but if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, just go back and check them out because we'll be using the strategies that I've showed you in the previous videos to get to this end point that I'm going to show you in today's video. So the first video I would encourage you to check out is this 1,760 print-on-demand niche ideas. And I've given you a free spreadsheet with all of these different niches that you can just download in that video. So it's in the description. And what we can then start to do is use that spreadsheet there to actually come up with and find lots and lots of design inspiration from sellers that are doing well okay so we'll we'll be trying to identify sellers that are doing well who are making lots and lots of sales and what we'll then do is we'll scrape that store of all of, of if it's either reviews or sales that it's made and again go check this video out if you'd like to know how to do that uh, this video shows you exactly how to do that step by step so what we do is we collate that onto a spreadsheet. So we have hundreds of designs onto a spreadsheet that we have there just ready and waiting for us to start to create. The next step is for me is I'm going to then start to find great fonts, okay, that really look good on t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies. And then I'm going to collate a select few fonts that I like the look of that I can use over and over again in my designs. And I'm going to keep it very, you know, narrow in terms of the amount of fonts that I'm using, just again, to keep the, sim the process simple. And again, if you go and check this video out, I'll show you exactly how to find 10, you know, different free font websites whereby we can start to find, you know, unlimited commercially free, you know, free to use fonts that we can use in our designs. Okay. And then the next step then after that was then finding the tags to the designs. Okay. So again, in this video, I show you how to find Etsy tags from sellers that are doing well. So the whole process here is to identify sellers that are ranking high in the search results and then going in and copying the tags that they're using to rank that high in, in, in the Etsy search algorithm. And we'll put that again onto a, a notepad, for, exa for example, like this here, that we can then collate for that specific niche then, okay? So this is how the process is you know, just step by step from the videos that I've done previously. But this now takes me up to this point here where we have a list of t-shirt design ideas from all these different stores that we've scraped. So as you can see, we can do it on Redbubble, we can do it on Etsy, we can do it on Zazzle, we can do it on anything we want to find design ideas. So this one was an Etsy seller that I did on the YouTube tutorial. And then this one was a Redbubble one for the Redbubble tutorial that I showed you. But again, they're all the same. They're all t-shirt design ideas that we can take and, you know, create the design ourselves. Once we've found these designs, this is now where the process begins in terms of bulk uploading lots and lots and lots of designs. 
okay? So for example, if I just take some of these here, let's just say that many there, okay? So next, if we then come along and we can either create a new spreadsheet or we can create a new tab, depends on what you want to do. I'll create a new spreadsheet just for this one here. And I'm going to call this phrase here. And then I'm just going to paste those design IDs into here like so. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to remove everything apart from the actual phrase. So easily distracted by ice skating and cuts. That's a duplicate there to get rid of that. We're left with some phrases here now. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to then, once we're happy with the phrases that we've crafted there and we have on our spreadsheet, again, you can do as many as you want. So this can keep going all the way down to, you know, 100 or even more than that, really. So next you need to name the spreadsheet here. So I've just called this YouTube bulk tutorial. And then next we need to then download this as a CSV file, okay? And it'll just show down here once it's downloaded. Now this is where it really gets interesting for me because what we can now do using Canva Pro is we can actually come along and create our designs, okay? And if I just use the 4,500 by 5,400 size for apparel, and what we can then do is we can add a heading. What we can do here is we can then go back to our spreadsheet and look for the longest phrase. So for example, this is the longest one there. So I just want to line this up so that it looks okay, you know, as the longest phrase. And if you're thinking, oh, okay, I haven't got Canva Pro, you know, I need a free version, then I'm going to show you how to do this in Photopea as well in just one moment. So stick around. Now, next is where we start to choose our fonts that we've uploaded. So we've gone ahead and found some commercial free to use fonts and we can basically upload our fonts here into Canva and to do that you just click on this upload a font here and then just choose the font that you've downloaded and away it goes and it'll just show up in this section here uploaded fonts okay so th for me these are going all to be on a dark background so the font color is going to be white and a tip I recently learned from Alec his channel is the color of the font you want to change it to F E F E F B okay so it's just slightly off white and apparently that that helps with the quality so it doesn't crack and things like that uh, so that was a good tip i thought so change it to that color and once you've got your phrase there we are going to scroll down and we click on this bulk create now what we can then do is upload our csv and it's this one here that we've just downloaded next we need to come along to this section here where the text is going to be located and we need to connect data. So we connect it to this phrase column that we just created in our spreadsheet and it shows like that, okay? Next, we can click on continue and then you can see the list of the phrases that we've just added and then we can click on generate six pages and away it goes, watch this. It opens in a new window and as you can see it doesn't take long at all and you can see if I just scroll down we now have all of these different phrases here that we can put onto our t-shirt designs and it took you know a matter of seconds to do so I'm loving this as a process because this means I can really roll out lots and lots of t-shirt designs very very quickly you know in a short period of time once you're happy with that, we can then just download that as a transparent background and uh, just click download. And then we can start to upload them onto our print on demand provider, whether that be Redbubble or whether you're using, you know, something like Pr Printify for Etsy, whatever it may be, we can just upload those onto our platform. So that's how you do it in Canva. Now, the next step is if you are looking to do this in Photopea, again, we can do it very easily. And again, I'm just going to create this as a 4,500 4, by 5,500 uh, design here and click on create. Okay, and next we just need to grab our text tool here and just drag like so. And then I'm just going to change the size of the font to something so that I can see it. 
so. And I'm just going to rename this text layer phrase. Okay, and then we'll just type something in here. So phrase for now. And let me just grab that again. So this one here, the longest phrase that we've got, and then just paste it in here. And then we just need to position it in a way that it's going to loop right. And then choose your font that you're going to decide to use. And center it maybe for this one. And again, this is going to be white font because I'm going to be choosing this on a dark t-shirt design. So again, I'll, I'll use that color there. Okay, so once you're happy with that layout there for the longest phrase that you've got, then what we can now do is we can come up to image and then variables. And then we could choose the phrase layer, which is the one we're on right now. We can do text content. And again, we can choose phrase like so. But this is going to be the name of the header of this sp spreadsheet here. So that phrase. And next we click on data sets and then import the CSV file. Click on open and you'll see the list there. And then click on export as. And then we want to do it as PNG. And then the variable for file names, again, we could perhaps put phrase. Uh, I'm not completely sure about that, but uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then what we can do is we can click on export all items. Okay, and you can see it just then exports it down to here, where it says images.zip. And if then I open up that images.zip folder, you can see here now that we have that phrase there. We have this phrase here. I'm off to my craft room. It's all fun and games until the bobbin runs out. And again, these can all just be put onto our t-shirt designs. And again, how long has that just taken us? Not long at all. Now, the beauty of this is, is we can make this as simple or as technical as we want, okay? So for example, we could easily come along and create some t-shirt templates or apparel templates that we will you know, have found from successful sellers, we can model how they tend to use different elements in their designs. We can create that template, how we want it to look. And then we can upload the text, uh, you know, using this strategy around those templates then, okay? So we, that's one way of doing it. And then the other way of doing it is if we find scalable designs. So I don't know whether you've noticed this, but you can see that, for this here, for this particular example that I've showed you here, we have easily distracted by ice skating and cats, okay, and easily distracted by pottery and cats. So as you can see there now, what we can do with that is we can actually just replace that uh, ice skating and pottery. And what we can do is we can basically put the phrase, which is this, so you can see easily distracted by ice skating and cats. Now, what we can do is we can come along, if I just click on here, and we can just remove that ice skating there, and press enter. As you can see here now, we have easily distracted by blank and cats. Okay, so what we've done there is we've removed the uh, scalable design phrase. So for example, ice skating and pottery. And what we can do is we come along to our niche spreadsheet, for example, and we can just put in all of the different hobbies that we've got on that spreadsheet. If I just show you what I mean, the next thing we can do is click on this text tool here again, and just drag again. And then if we just put in um, hobby, to fill the space here and what we could do in fact let me just go get the spreadsheet so i can show you okay as you can see here we have all of these different hobbies from the spreadsheet so what we can do is we can just take a few of these just for this example but you could take them all if you were doing this properly and if i just come back to here and let me just re I'll replace this for this example here and just change this to hobby and download this as a csv and then what we can do just to check again that we've got, you know, the longest phrase. So I would say candle making is the longest. We could just design this so that it looks right with the longest phrase that we've got like so. And then we could just move that up 
into here, position it correctly. Now, you could even change this font to a different font so that it stands out. So if we just do that just very quickly, you would make that nice and pretty and you know you could perhaps adjust the spacing and things like that but what we can do here now is we can just rename this first of all just do that to hobby like so okay and again we're just going to come up to image and then variables and again text content variable name is hobby again same as this here again hobby here data sets import csv and again it is yeah so i've just done that and there are all the hobbies and then we go to export as and then we can put this as hobby png and export all items and hopefully this has worked okay and then it downloads like so and then again if we just open up that zip folder and see what we've got here so again astronomy Easily distracted by astronomy and cats. Easily distracted by beekeeping and cats. And so on and so on and so on. And I think that looks pretty good to me. And I think, you know, we could start to really sort of bang out a lot of different designs here using this strategy. And I've been very, very excited to share this with you. And I've been sort of really trying to find a way of automating this process as much as possible. And I think this is it. And not only that, but it's all using 100% free tools, unless you have a pro Canva account, which, you know, Again, it isn't going to hurt you if you do have a Pro Canva account because I think it's a very, very useful tool, especially when it comes to finding different design elements and things like that that we can add into our designs to make it you know, look a little bit more interesting, for example. Um, but you don't need it by any stretch of imagination because, I mean, I've got um, a video on this channel showing you all these different free uh, image websites that you can go ahead and get them kind of images from anyway. So, yeah, it's definitely not you know necessary but it just helps i suppose to speed the process along but i hope that you've enjoyed this video because i have been working very very hard behind the scenes to come up with a process whereby it is scalable and it is quite heavily automated in a way and again we're just using different tools that i've managed to get access to that are free and you know, but just by using these free tools, we can really create a lot of winning designs, I think. And especially if you're using something like Redbubble, where it doesn't cost you anything to upload these designs, you can literally put out thousands and thousands of designs very, very quickly using this method. Because you've just seen how quick I've managed to put up 10 designs there. Now imagine if you change the fonts of these, just very quickly click a different font and use that same design bang upload it again or maybe change the alignment so that it looks slightly different line to the left for example again bang pump that one out as well you get the idea <laughs> so i'm quite excited about this uh, and i wanted to just come back with a bang for this video because i think this is probably the perfect process right now now if you're asking me how i can make this even better that's one for the next video and it's something that I learned when I was uh, scaling my Amazon business, okay? And we can scale this to the moon, basically. So that's it for this video. Please give me a like if you like this video. Please subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. I'm always looking to connect with new people who are interested in you know, the same sort of things that I'm interested in. And uh, I'm just here to help, basically. So I would love if you subscribed and turn the notifications on if you would like to be notified when I release a new video. Um, I think that is everything. So very happy to be back and I will see you in the next one very, very soon. See you then.